Hey everybody, uh, Brett with Tumbo here. Glad to have you here with us today. Uh, what we're going to do is take some time to talk about our original toy, uh, which is called the Tumbo Tugger. Uh, it comes in two different sizes for different sized dogs, and we're going to take some time to do uh, an unboxing today, show you all the parts and components that come in the kit. Um, then we're going to do an in-depth installation video, show you how easy this thing is to hang up. And then we're going to do a little demonstration, kind of show you how it works. Uh, that way you know what your dog is going to be in store for once you get this home and hung up for him. So without any further delay, let's uh, get started. Alright, so this is what you're going to have when, once you get this home. So we're just going to go ahead and open this up, unbox it, and put everything out here on the table and show you what you're going to get. All right, so we've got full color instructions. Going to show you how to hang this up. Although in shortly here we're going to get into a whole installation video. We're going to show you step by step how to do that on video as well. We have those. Uh, we've got the long bungee cord, which is the, the power behind the whole toy. It's got a large loop on one end, and this is what's going to go around your connection point and loop together. And then it's got another loop on the other end, which is how we're going to connect this rope here, which is what we call the height adjustment rope. Um, this allows you, depending on where you're going to be hanging this, tree branches are really common, but they're all at different heights, and depending on the height of your dog, you're going to need a little bit of adjustability there in order to, to set it up right. So it's, we, we usually like to have the toy roughly at eye level with the dog, that way they can see it easily, and it's right there, easy to grab and, and, and bounce away from them. So this we're going to get into in the video later about the different ways to tie this to set up for the different heights. And the other component is the, the business end, we call it, and this is basically the what we call a ball knot. Um, this is what the dog's going to be you know, tugging on, tearing on. Uh, this is technically a wear item, so we do sell replacement versions as well. Um, and you can hang, anything with a loop really can be hung on this too. So if your dog um, has a favorite toy that they really like, a lot of people will hang something like that on that to introduce into the toy because they're already kind of familiar with the, the toy that they already have. Um, and like I said earlier, we do have two sizes available. Uh, the main difference, or really the only difference in the small version which I have here, is the ball knot, as you can see here, the two different sizes. So all the other components are the same. Uh, we just have a smaller version. Some of the smaller dogs just like a little bit smaller of a toy, so that's available as well. Um, so now that you've seen everything, we're going to go ahead and start a video, just kind of a step-by-step -step installation video showing you how to get this hung up. Um, and we'll go ahead and start that now. All right, so we're out at our tree, we've located our connection point, and we have the bungee. So the first step is to get this wrapped around your connection point. So you're going to want to make sure, depending on the size of your dog, you're, you're going to want to make sure it's sturdy enough. So if you have a, a big heavy dog that's really strong, make sure you get a branch that has enough girth that it's going to not break off. You don't want to get into a situation where your dog is able to kind of damage the tree. So take that into consideration when you're, when you're hanging it. Uh, we've got our branch right here. and This is adjustable from about 8 to 12 feet. Um, We've got the, we're going to show you in depth how to tie the, the height adjustment rope later. But right now we're just going to show you. So if you have a, a really low connection point, a lot of times you can just hang this right from the ground. So what we need to do is the big loop is what's going to go around the tree. And I'm just going to do a quick demonstration on how you can do that from the ground. You can kind of just flip that up over the tree, grab that bigger loop, pull it down, run the smaller loop through the big one, and then that'll cinch right up for you. Uh, we actually have a higher connection point that we're going to install this on uh, in order to show you all the different heights of the height adjustment rope. So I'm going to go up the ladder now. I'm going to put this up a little bit higher. I just wanted to show you how easy it was to do from the ground in a lot of cases. So what we're going to do, we're going to wrap this big rope or the big loop around the branch again. And we're just going to pull the whole rest of it right through that loop. Going to cinch that up, get it nice and snug, and that's going to be the first step of uh, the installation for you. All right, now that we've got the bungee hung up, the next step is just to simply attach the height adjustment rope to the ball knot. So, in order to do that, we just run one of the loops, and there's a loop on each end of this. We just take either one of the loops, run it through one of the loops on the toy, and then run that cord right back through that black loop and cinch that up. And then this is all ready to go on to the bungee. 
Okay, so we're back out of the tree. We've got the bungee hanging here, and we've got our ball knot attached to the height adjustment rope. So the first step, we're going to show you what we call the long connection. Um, this is going to add about four feet to where the bottom of this loop is, depending on your height. So this is probably the easiest connection, and all we have to do is run your extra, the opposite end over here of the loop of the black adjustment rope, run it through the end on the bungee that's hanging, and then we're just going to take the whole ball knot and everything here and run it right through this black loop. And then cinch it all up just like we've been doing before. Until it's tight and then this connection's all done. So we have obviously not the 12 to 13 height available and so our ball not sitting on the ground which is not what we want we want this to be you you know basically you want it to be at a, your dog's eye level so that's why we have this rope here so you have a, a lot of adjustment in order to be able to accomplish that so this is just if you have a maybe a high tree branch or you have a really small dog and you need to get the the length down towards the ground that's where you'd use the long connection okay so now what we're going to show you is what we call our medium connection so first step Send this black loop of the height adjustment rope right through that loop, just like last time. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring these down right to the ground, and we're going to make them about even. Um, usually what we do is we run this rope kind of twisted around the other one three or four times. You know, there's no, there's no set number. Uh, we're just trying to keep everything tight and compact just so you don't have two separate lines kind of blowing around there. Um, and then once you do that, we are going to run the black loop right through the loop of the toy. And then we're going to open that loop up and we're going to put the toy right through it as well and then we're going to cinch that up and then we've got what we call the medium connection and now you can see that that's hanging up about a foot above the ground so if we had a dog you know that sits about that high we want to get that toy roughly at eye level so we're set up really well now for kind of a, a smaller to medium sized dog and uh, installation at this point would be completely done uh, we still have one more connection that we call the short and we're going to take this apart and then we're going to show you how to do that all right, so our last and final connection is what we call the short connection. So I'm going to go through how to set that up. Um, the original starting is just like the rest. We're going to take that open black loop of the uh, height adjustment rope and run that through the lower loop of the bungee. We're going to pull that down. and we're, This time we're going to pull about a third of it all the way to the top. And then we're going to run this rope. I'm going to try to do this kind of slow because I know it can be a little confusing. We're going to run this loop through the toy loop. Then we're going to run it right back up through the bungee loop again. And like last time, when we come down, we're gonna wrap this just a couple times around to keep it all tight and secure. Then we're gonna run this black loop right through that toy loop again. And then we're gonna run the whole ball and toy right through that loop an additional time and cinch this right up. And that's going to be our shortest connection and that way so now you can kind of see with the ground height that we have here we're set up for a, a larger you know medium to a larger size dog all ready to go and uh, that concludes the setup and installation with all three height adjustments and now the toy is ready to be used. All right, so the last thing I want to discuss is how to take this all down. So this is, it's, it's an easy system to put up and it's easy to take down. So if you ever wanted to move it to a different location or if you're going on a vacation and you want to take the dog's toy with you, it's easy to kind of take along. So I'm just going to kind of reverse the steps where we, we connected the short connection and we're just going to show you kind of how to take that back apart. Uh, this is also useful if once this ball knot, if it wears out, you know, dogs, you know, some are, are rough, more rough on things than others, and some of them are going to tear through this pretty quick, and sometimes it can last a long time. But if you ever do need to change it, um, this kind of shows you just how to take it back apart. Um, so we're just going to work this all the way back out and undo it. So at this point, I'm also going to kind of show you that... If we, we, so we designed this system with the, the different height adjustments and all the knots and loops pre-made on here um, to make it a, an easy option for people who aren't very good with knots. Um, knots can be complicated. There's lots of different types and styles out there. Some are better than others for holding things securely. Um, but if you are good with knots, uh, you know, alternatively, you can easily set this up and it can be almost infinitely adjustable along the whole length if you just want to do some knot tying of your own. So we can get this set up anywhere we want along here. If we've got a small dog, we can get it down closer to the ground. If we've got a larger dog, we can get it way up here. Uh, the main point of this rope 
is to offer adjustability and also another means to replace a part. So every one of these parts, the bungee, this height adjustment rope, and the toys are all individually available online on our website for purchase. So we wanted to keep, ultimately this is the most expensive part of the, of the kit. So we want to keep that safe and we want to make sure it's out of harm's way so the dog isn't able to jump up, get here, and start biting on this. Um, you know, it is a bungee cord, you know, dog's teeth are sharp and they, if they start puncturing this, we can get breaks. So we want to keep this, you know, these two items at the bottom being the wear items. They're easy to replace and so that was the whole design theory behind everything. Um, but as far as tying a knot, you're free to move this wherever you want and if you want to just do simple knots and tie it off, you can do that easily. We usually recommend at least a double knot just so it doesn't start coming apart, you know, when the dog's playing with it. But that gives you the ability to hang it at virtually any height, depending on what you have, within its range, of course. And then, you know, this slack could be just cut off or tied up or however you want to do it. So there's just a lot of options. And, you know, replacing the toy is as simple as just unlooping this, taking it off, and then hanging whatever new toy you have on there. Um, like I said, we sell these online, uh, but there's a wide range of toys out there, and your dog may have a favorite that would be great to hang on here as well. So anyway, in short, that kind of describes the installation, all the adjustability as far as height. And uh, once you get it up, we think your dogs are really going to have a great time.